this is Fox and I'm back with season two of Fox Larson Art Daily. Um, some of you might have watched season one and those are basically short three to five minute videos about what's going on in my sketchbooks and in my art. A bit of my life also but mostly my art. And I had made about 40 of those but then my health took a turn for the worst and I was readjusting my medications so for three weeks I was mostly in zombie mode and couldn't draw and couldn't really be productive in any sort of way but now it seems I'm getting back on track so I am finally making art again. It was really horrible being unable to make art, but today I actually managed to do some drawing and to open my sketchbook and I'm really hoping that I am back to my art making self. So I decided to revive this whole video thing because I really like making those videos. Actually they kind of round off my days very nicely and make me feel like I've actually done something. I don't know, making art can be a bit lonely because I spend, spend most of my time with my sketchbooks and sculptures and stuff and I'm not very social and all those things. And anyways, I mean, the internet is full of those wonderful, totally successful artists who seem to be handling both a day job and 50 sketchbooks and personal shows and all those things all at once. And I'm not that. And probably I'm not the only person who isn't that. And maybe if I talk about it out loud like this, maybe someone else will be less lonely with their art. Um, I don't know. I hope you guys enjoy those videos for one reason or another. So, uh, I am trying to go big this time and I want season two to actually be my 100 day project. This was a big decision for me to make. It's kind of scary to commit to doing something for a hundred days, but I am going to try. So I am going to try to make a hundred days of these short three to five minute art and life videos. And now that I've said all this, Let's dive into the sketchbooks. Well, first of all, I have a new fancy notebook to show off. Um, it has those awesome round polka dot-ish, but very, well, but different sized holes in the cover. So you can do this shadow magic and look at it and um, I find that mesmerizing. I got this notebook. A year ago, I think, and then I thought it was so awesome that I can't even draw in it. You know, it's like too good for doing things in. But yesterday I decided that it's time because I needed something that would fit into a smaller bag. And this is small and the paper is nice. And there's a little doodle I did at um, an art event today that was called better than Dior and you can see that the croc here is wearing fancy Dior shades and yeah as you can see this beast is capable of swimming and then this was a study of um, some art by Kruselnitsky in a Pilmeni restaurant downstairs. Well, it's right in my apar apartment building, but downstairs. I really like the loops here. Hmm. Then I am. Um, I've made progress on my crocodile series, and I finally finished this croc. Her shoes are what I did today and I'm really 
really happy that they're finally done. So now I have five of those crocs and as promised when I have ten of them I'm going to turn them into prints. Sorry I had to pause because my phone overheated and turned off but I'm back and this is uh, the croc piece that I started today about this croc and bird in a teapot and I'm still thinking what um, those diamonds will be like I like the black and white but I think there will be some more finer lines going on there like inside the white diamonds maybe with a point one liner maybe like concentric diamonds maybe stripes it's, yeah and then I've started the way it's in a tiny tiny point one liner so this is probably gonna take forever but I mostly do art that takes forever and then I just did some a couple spreads in my sketchbook and I'm gonna probably do something on top of this so this is more of a background spread for me for now mm, there's this one and there's this one I kind of like the rainbowness of it it's like a controlled mess and some silver and some rainbowy stuff sort of like that so this is it for today and I'm really super duper glad to be back both with my art and with my videos and for this 100 day project I will be making videos every day regardless of whether I do or do not make any art at all if I make nothing and I'm feeling horrible I will just make a 20 second video about that um, but hopefully I will mostly be up to actually doing the thing that makes me feel like my life is worth something so thank you guys for watching and that's it for today i'll see you tomorrow